Is baby brain a real thing? Have you ever used the baby brain excuse or heard somebody else blame their terrible memory on being a new parent? It's a common belief that once you have a baby, something switches in your brain and you start to become more forgetful. However, look it up and you'll find plenty of contradicting studies. Some claim baby brain is real, while others claim it's a complete myth. So what's the truth and could it all just be in the mind? What is baby brain? Baby brain is a term given during pregnancy and shortly after childbirth, relating to issues with short-term memory. Many women find they become a lot more forgetful, experiencing blurs in their memory that they never noticed before. It also affects your ability to focus. It's often said jokingly, but in reality, it can be quite distressing and frustrating. Why might baby brain occur? This baffling symptom has stumped scientists for years. However, there are quite a few theories as to why it happens. These include the brain shrinking during pregnancy, the fact that the right side of the brain is accessed more than the left during pregnancy, changes in the brain occur to cater more towards baby's needs, and sleep deprivation and additional stress. Most interestingly out of all of those, the brain has been shown to shrink as pregnancy develops. It is the smallest when you reach the third trimester, right before giving birth. It's worth noting here that not all parts of the brain shrink. In fact, some actually increase in size. It's just there's an overall decrease, which does affect the memory. This is of course only temporary, and the brain regains its normal size within a few weeks or months after the birth. Research has also shown that the way women use their brains during pregnancy also makes a difference. Scientists from the University of London discovered that pregnant women use the right side of their brain more than the left. This is thought to be in the preparation for the bonding process between mother and baby. It explains why during pregnancy and shortly after birth, the emotions are oversensitized. Other studies suggest that changes in the brain that occur during pregnancy ensure the woman is more focused on her baby's needs. This means they are unable to focus on other tasks. Psychologist Laura Glenn from the Chapman University in California claims this could be down to hormonal changes. Hormones fluctuate quite a lot throughout pregnancy, and the way the fetus moves around could also cause changes in the brain. Short-term memory issues can be a result of these changes. Finally, there's also the fact forgetfulness can come hand in hand with the additional stress and sleep deprivation that comes from being a new parent. Lack of sleep and increased stress levels are widely known to cause issues with memory. So as you can see, there's clearly some logic behind why baby brain might occur. So why do some experts claim baby brain does not exist? After hearing about the changes that occur during the brain in pregnancy and childbirth, it seems absolutely certain baby brain is a real thing. So why do some experts dismiss it? Well, largely because of very small studies. For example, one study carried out in the US monitored 21 pregnant women and 21 women who had never been pregnant. All of the pregnant women were in their third trimester, the time as just mentioned, that is thought to be when the brain is at its smallest. Results of the study showed that there were no real differences between the two groups, though memory difficulties were reported. So, experts claim because of these results, there's no evidence to back up that pregnant women have worse memories than those who aren't pregnant. There are two main issues with this study. Firstly, there are very few participants. Can you really get an in-depth analysis into whether baby brain is a real thing when you're only monitoring a very small percentage of people? Secondly, the pregnant group weren't memory tested prior to their pregnancy, so there's absolutely no way of knowing whether their memory has changed. This leads us to think that yes, baby brain is very real and there are plenty of women who can testify to that. When you compare the evidence presented by both arguments, you find the one supporting baby brain wins hands down. Of course, this isn't conclusive. So, the next time you forget where your car keys are, or you struggle to remember anything, keep on blaming your baby brain and present the shrunken brain evidence as proof. And that's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you'd share this video with someone else who you think would benefit from knowing this information, as well as hopping on over to our website and signing up for our email newsletter by clicking the link in the description. By signing up, you not only be the first to hear about our new releases, but you also get exclusive goodies that are only given to our email subscribers. Finally, the next time you're looking to buy baby products, I encourage you to take a look at what we have available. Let me tell you, we aren't just out to make a profit and pride ourselves in our high quality products and excellent service. Also, that baby products are laboratory tested to ensure they are 100% safe for you and your baby, which unfortunately isn't something every company can say. On top of that, we donate 10% of our profits to children's charities and hope to increase this percentage as Starlight Baby continues to grow. Therefore, your support goes a long way towards helping a lot of people.
even if it's something as simple as subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and here's to making a positive difference in the lives of our children and the world as a whole.